The CBI told the Supreme Court on Saturday it is for the governor of Tamil Nadu to decide on the early release of the convict serving life sentences for the assassination of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. PM Narendra Modi will inaugurate multi-story flats which have come in place of old bungalows for members of parliament today by video conferencing. PM Narendra Modi at the virtual G20 summit climate change even highlighted that India is exceeding its Paris Agreement target. The five-day first session of the 17th State Legislative Assembly will begin on Monday. Pro tem, the Speaker Jita Ram Manji will administer the oath to the newly elected 242 others MLS on Monday. The cold northwesterly wind from the snow-clad mountains of Himalayas is reaching up to Bihar, resulting in plunge in the minimum departure temperature of several cities in the state, including Patna. Jadu on Saturday said Mahagadbandh leader Tejasvi Prasad Yadav should not accept the post of the leader of opposition in the 17th assembly till he is proved not guilty in the IRCTC hotel for land case. A unique initiative, the Ranchi administration had decided to tie up with a few social outfits in order to distribute winter garments among the needy across the district. Candidates seeking employment on the Uttar Pradesh government's non-gadgeted Group C post will now have to undertake a preliminary test to qualify for the main examination for the appointment. Heating out at the BJP over the Hathras incident, over the Hathras incident, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi said on Sunday that the constant exploitation of victims at the hands of the Uttar Pradesh government is unbearable. In Kolkata, the pandemic that forced the closure of city majors for over seven months has also opened up to a whole new audience and a world of possibilities.